Dear friends, greetings for the day. Today we will learn how you can do bulk WhatsApp messaging. Okay, for that first you need to log in in PKSS panel. Then on the left hand side you will find that option more menus. Click on more menus. Then you need to click on broadcaster V2. Here you find two options campaigns and reports. So after you did the campaign you can click on reports and there you can see the reports. So let's understand how you can do the campaign first. Click on campaigns. Okay, so here you will find the message. So it states that at one go, like uh, in a single shot, you can send messages to up to 25,000 people. So if you want to send messages to 50,000 people, then you have to do campaign twice. Okay, after that, you need to give the campaign name. Campaign name will be useful uh, to fetch the reports further. For an example, you did the campaign today, and after one week, you find uh, the reports. So you can search. The reports via the campaign name then you need to select the application here we in picky assist you will find the option to send messages by multiple whatsapp numbers okay so here you can select the number from which you want to do the campaign okay once you uh, did the campaign name and you can select application then the second part is to provide the numbers or to select the numbers on which you want to do the campaign okay so first option is select from contacts if your contacts are saved in pk assist or you already upload the contact in pk assist and saved it okay then you can click on select contacts okay here you can filter the contacts on the basis of various tags and categories on the various of uh, various uh, attributes or various parameters okay for an example you want to send a message to a particular tag okay so you can click on tag and you can select the tag for which tag you want to do the campaign okay so let's first uh, we are uh, we try with the subscribed okay once you select uh, the contacts for to whom you want to do the messaging then you need to click on it okay here you see that the contacts are selected and then you need to click on save okay so here you can see the total save contacts okay here you will find uh, the option of like uh, template uh, messages okay you need to click on wa templates okay you need to get the list of the template which is pre-approved by whatsapp or if you want to submit the templates to the whatsapp for approval you can submit templates to the whatsapp for approval and then you can select the templates on which you want to do the messaging okay so i am just selecting this template okay so now this template is with image with media file so if you want to attach the media file then you need to click uh, the image here uh, then either you can upload the image uh, from your desktop okay or from your laptop and if image is already available you can just simply click on image you can select the image on which you want to do the campaign and click on insert image once the image is inserted then whatever variables you have in that template you need to add those variables also so either you can select those variables from the pkss panel if you save those variables in the pkss panel you can simply click here and you can add those variables okay or if you want to type those variables you can just type the name also for you like you want to hard code those uh, variables you can just type it here okay once you enter all the required variables which is available in the template okay then you can simply click on send now and it will uh, send the messages okay or if you want to schedule those messages then you can just click here you can select the date on which date you want to send a message uh, for example i want to send a message in, in october uh, 10th okay you can select the time at what time you want to send a message okay so i want to send a message for an example 11 pm okay and then you can click on save and the message will be scheduled for that particular date and particular time okay now uh, uh, this is a very simple how you can send a message here you can do the various actions also okay so for an example you want to create a follow-up actions follow-up actions will be useful like when you are doing a bulk messaging and you want to send another message uh, if customer replied on your message then you want to send one message if customer not replied on your messages then you want to send another message okay so in the follow-up actions you can schedule like um, uh, take when contact is not responded then after two days okay here you can select two days or two hours okay send a follow-up message what message you want to send 
again you need to select the template from here and you can configure that template okay now you want to do the further actions uh, like when contact responded okay then the same thing you can do you can select the connector okay uh, like when contact responded it will trigger to the connector and in the connector you can do various actions so that is the first way of sending the whatsapp message okay the second way is copy paste the numbers okay so like uh, you are not saving the contact in the pkss you have a number in the excel sheet or in some word file so what you can do you can copy paste those number here okay make sure when you are copy pasting the number so either it should be a comma separated or enter it for example i am adding two numbers so if you want to add one more number you need to put comma and you can add another number okay or if you don't want to put comma then you can just simply enter it in the next line okay you have to remove comma and you can enter and you can add the uh, number in the next line then you have the option to remove duplicate numbers okay if you want to remove the duplicate numbers you can click on yes okay and uh, once you copy paste the numbers then you need to do the same process like you need to select the wa templates okay you need to select uh, the variables like i want to send this with the video so here this option will come here i can go and select the video which i want to send okay i just uh, upload that video okay now this template have some variables like again this have a variable like one and two so here uh, i can hard code these values like test one two three or whatever i want to send okay or if uh, this is how uh, you can add the variables and then again you can do the follow-up follow-up actions will not be available if you are uh, copy pasting the data okay uh, follow up actions will be applicable only if you are saving the data in the pkss and you are doing the campaign okay and then again you will find the option here send now or you can send later okay now the third option which we have is a dynamic upload file okay in dynamic upload file like you have a data in the excel sheet okay if you want to do the validation of the data because for sending the whatsapp messages it is mandatory you should have number with country code okay now if you have a excel sheet in which the numbers are not with country code then here you will find the option of add a prefix okay either you can remove or you can add so i want to add 91 i can just simply click on add and i can add 91 so it will add 91 in all the numbers okay which don't have all the numbers okay which is you are uploading through the excel sheet okay if you feel like some numbers have 91 and some numbers have, don't have 91 in your excel sheet then you can do the advanced validation in advanced validations like in uh, take an example of india india have a 10 digit mobile number and two digit country code okay so here you can man mention that like the maximum length is 10 okay if maximum length is 10 then add 91 okay if maximum length is not 10 then don't add 91 okay so in this way you can do the validation okay here uh, you can uh, upload the excel sheet here you can click here just click on the excel sheet and that excel sheet will be uploaded okay here you will see so here when while you are uploading the excel sheet you need to select in which column you have mobile number so here you can see in column b i have a mobile number so i can just simply click on column b okay and then again the same thing i need to choose the template to which i want to send a whatsapp messages i can click here and uh, i can simply select here okay i can upload the image and the pdf okay then again these have a variable so now i am uploading the excel sheet so if i want to fetch any value from the excel sheet that i can do so in my excel sheet there is only two columns so here is showing the column now in the first value i want to uh, uh, add the name of that particular person so i simply click on it and from the excel sheet it will pick the name of the corresponding person now in the b i want to add their mobile number so i just click here from here it will add the mobile number in the similar way if i have any other column in the excel sheet so
so i can pick uh, the data from there or if i just want to hard code it i can just uh, hard code it here and then again the same thing okay follow up actions you can't set if you are uploading the excel sheet okay here you will find the option of send now or send later so if you want to send it immediately you can click on send now and if you want to send it later you can just uh, schedule the date and time here so this is how you can do the bulk messaging uh, you have to keep in mind when you are uploading the excel sheet or you are uh, adding the data for sending the whatsapp messages make sure you should have number with country code okay to whom you are going to send a message make sure they are your opt-in customers so when you send a message to them they will not block your number or not report your number as a spam okay uh, we'll share you the marketing guide where you will see the best practices okay to whom you send a message uh, or how you can approve the template so i will recommend before doing the bulk messaging please go through that guide thank you have a nice day